Welcome to this Tutor Me Online JavaScript tutorial where we will be looking at the JavaScript switch statement. Uh, now in order to follow along with this video it will be um, most advantageous for you if you have had a look at the JavaScript if else uh, statement video that was the previous one in this series of JavaScript tutorials because basically the switch statement is a more elegant way of representing the the if else and the if else if statements that you get in JavaScript. So let's go to our code and then we'll illustrate what I actually mean by this. Okay, so in the video that we create in which we created the calculator um, that checks whether we are doing an addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division sum, we had a variable called op, which was the operator that was being used in the sum that we were doing. So in this case, it would then check for different scenarios of what the op variable could be. So in this case, it could have been addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. Now we can use the switch statement to do this in a slightly more elegant fashion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uncomment, or I'm going to comment this section of code using the JavaScript multi-line comments, which is a forward slash followed by an asterisk, and then ended by a asterisk followed by a forward slash. So this code will not be evaluated whatsoever by, by JavaScript. Okay, so the switch statement syntax is the word switch followed by an opening and closing parenthesis and the opening and closing curly braces. So in the parentheses, we need to specify the variable that the switch statement needs to evaluate. So in this case, we of course want to look at the op variable, which checks what the operator is. So then we need to check the different scenarios that this one possibly could be. And then depending on which scenario evaluates to true, it will then perform a certain action. So in other words, it will check if in this case, the op variable is equal to the string addition. Follow that by the colon character. If the variable op evaluates to true when it checks is op, um, it, does it evaluate to true? Is it equal to the word addition? Then it will perform what we place um, after the colon. So we want the variable a and s then to be equal to the variable x plus variable y, right? So that it actually performs an addition calculation. We then follow this with the break statement and this, what this does is if this case evaluates to true, it will then break out of the switch statement. It will then terminate its operation. It won't carry on to any other cases within the switch statement. Then a switch statement will end with a default statement. We'll do the subtraction, multiplication and division in a moment. Now the default statement is what the switch statement reverts to as the default if none of the cases evaluate to true. So in this case, if addition or if, if the op variable evaluates to true and it is equal to the string addition, it will perform the calculation and make the variable a and s equal to x plus y. If it is not equal to addition, so if it is anything else at this stage, it will then revert to the default statement. So let's say in the default statement we want the variable a and s to output the word not addition. We'll end that with the break statement. So let's hit save. We'll go to our browser. Let's refresh here. Now if we say 1 plus 2, we'll get the answer as 3. Now if we do any of the other calculations, because all that the switch statement is checking is to see whether it's addition. If it's anything else, it will revert to the default statement. So now we click calculate. It says not addition, and this will be the same for all the other ones. All right, so let's add our other, the other cases we would like to have within our switch statement. So of course that is subtraction. And in subtraction, we want variable a and s to equals variable x minus variable y. The next case is multiplication. 
in which case we want the a and s variable to equals x multiplied by variable y break statement then our final case is of course division where we would like the variable a and s to be equal to variable x divided by variable y now for this specific case, I'm going to leave out the break statement so that we can illustrate how this will affect our switch statement. So let's press save, we'll go to our browser. Uh, let's refresh. Then if we say 1 plus 2, give us the answer 3, so that's fine. Let's say 12 minus 2, gives us the answer 10, that's correct. Let's say 2 multiplied by 4 gives us the answer of 8 and now we added the case for division so let's say 10 divided by 2 if we click calculate it gives us the answer of not addition now that's because we didn't add the break statement into the division case so it in effect let's go back to our code so in effect what happens is it actually evaluated this as true which was the case it was division it then uh, performed the operation on the ANS variable but then because we didn't have a break statement, it then carried on with the switch statement. It didn't terminate the operations. And then it went to the default statement and changed the variable a and s to be equal to the string not addition. So let's add our break statement so that if it evaluates, if this case evaluates to true, that it terminates the switch statement operations. So let's hit save. We'll go to our browser. Let's refresh. Now if we say 10 divided by 2 and our answer is 5. So I hope that illustrates how the switch statement works and the, and the use of the break statement to terminate uh, the cases once your case has evaluated to true.